Gradients offer a powerful control solution for texturing. Now with the node editor, gradient settings can be animated. Let's load up the node editor by clicking the edit nodes button in the surface editor. And what I'm going to do is by default, of course, we have our, our surface node. I'm going to add a gradient node right here. And by double clicking on it, I get my properties. So I have my gradient properties and now I can animate the background color, the color, the alpha, and the position using these envelope buttons. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and set up a basic gradient. I'm going to use color. Let's change this to red and let's make a new key on my gradient and we'll just make it yellow. So it goes from red to yellow, but I want to animate that color over time. So what I'll do is under the color channel, I'll pick envelope to open up the graph editor. And with my key selected, I'm going to just change, set a few keys over time. So it'll go yellow, green, yellow, green, yellow, green. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and close that. And as I scrub my timeline, I'm going to make a little room there. And as I scrub my timeline, you can see the yellow is animating over time. And of course, I can apply that to one of the channels on the surface. I'll just apply it to color. And over time, my object will change color according to this gradient and this envelope. In this example, I have a gradient node controlling the color of my surface. And I have a turbulent 3D procedural texture that is controlling the input parameter of my gradient. I'm also using the same procedural texture to control the bump of my surface. So if I double click on the gradient, I can see that I've set up just a basic gradient with a, a few colors. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, con gonna make kind of like an earth texture where I've got deep water, shallow water, sand, dirt, and then grass or, or foliage here. My input parameter is grayed out because I'm using this procedural texture as my input parameter. I've animated each one of these keys on my gradient using the envelope here. So we'll load up the graph editor and I'm going to double click on surfaces so I can get all of those keys. And you can see we've, we've gone and in frame zero and 60, we have the same settings, but on frame 30, I've increased the value of my position on all of the channels. So if we scrub through our timeline here, you'll see from zero, we start here, go to 30, they're all increasing in position on the gradient, and then they go back. Now, what does that look like when we apply it to our surface? Well, let me move the Viper window over here and push play. And as you can see, the water starts expanding and receding based on the keys on the gradient. You could use the same kind of setup for things such as water effects or fire effects, uh, even snow collecting on the ground. Animated gradients extend the power of surfacing in Lightwave.